Uh, my name is Garrick Respress. I am the director of AC Georgia. I started this uh, 13 years ago, believe it or not. Our first season was 2011. It really started as a favor to a friend. We had, uh, he had a, a, a seventh grader who was playing basketball. He wanted to have an opportunity to expand his play. And I coached his team and we uh, were just a local team that was in Roswell. Uh, we practice at East Roswell Recreation Department and our local team has grown into a uh, national, more of a national, definitely a statewide program that's helped uh, over 37 players uh, earn Division One scholarships and over uh, 68 players earn uh, a scholarship to college. The more we do for players, uh, I think the more experiences they have. We have some guys on our trip right now. We're in Phoenix, Arizona and Scottsdale, Arizona for a tournament that's in Mesa outside of Phoenix and who've never flown a plane before, never been on a plane before. I think these types of experiences, being able to go to a different part of the country and see um, that they're able to compete at a high level, to develop the confidence that their work can create great outcomes, uh, regardless of where they sit in this country or in the world, uh, is, is something that we're always working towards and we're always working to provide those opportunities. But the journey has been long, it's been uh, very fruitful, uh, and we uh, continue to hopefully get better every day. I think the probably the biggest advantage that we have is um, is we know what it takes to be a, a prospect because mo more than half of our coaches have actually been NCAA Division One coaches. I think that. Um, People who haven't been in a Division One locker room, who haven't been on a Division One bench, who haven't been in a Division One program, have an opinion of what a Division One player is. But it's very, very difficult unless you've actually uh, participated, unless you've actually been a part of of what that is. So. Coach, Coach Morris, Kevin Morris, I've been with uh, AC Georgia for about 12 of the 13 years or 11 of the 12 years, whichever, you know, which one one it is. I'm with 17 you with me, Coach Rashford. When I was playing overseas, you know, Gary called me and told me he was starting an AU program. And when I came back, he wanted me to, you know, to coach with him. And, you know, I always loved the game. And once I finished playing, I decided, you know, I wanted to get into coaching. So that's kind of that's kind of it in a nutshell right there. You know, we just... I came back from playing and he had the AU program going on and I got on with him and been with him ever since. We've gone, like I said, even 12 or 13 years strong at this point. You know, I think this year we have a, we have a pretty good group, you know, they're coming together and I think we have a shot. You know, I'm not going to go too far into that until we play some games out here in Phoenix, you know what I'm saying? But um, for the outlook looks good. I feel like it's kind of coming full circle now. You know, we, gonna, we still plugging, we still got work to do, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully we get to, you know, UAA, you know, real soon, but it's, it's, it's been a ride and we're happy where we are right now. You know, there's a lot of progress been made in a short period of time, but we still just pushing. We got a good group of guys that's very unselfish. They play together. They believe in each other. I think they're, you know, buying into the system. So I think we got a chance to do something special this year. And not just with the 17, the 16s and the 15s look pretty good too. You know, they got a lot of pieces. I think I think this is gonna be a good year for AC Georgia. You know, I'm, I didn't even mention our seven and eighth grade teams. They're, they're really good too. I mean, I think I think this year could be a statement year for the for the whole program. For those who live in Atlanta, this is like what Buckhead used to be in Atlanta. But in Phoenix, like everybody, a lot of people come, especially guys, your, people your age, like 10 years older. To your no. age, 10 years older, this place is oh, filled. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 it's like, I say your age because a lot of college kids come here too. I think it's scooters. So it's like college age to like the you know, late 20s. This this place is crazy at night. Crazy at night. Like cuckoo crazy. Crazy at night. Crazy at night. <laughs> what time nah, we hey, you oh, know I we do a room text, we already know. Look at Kirk. Um, Kirk. Kirk, I can see Kirk now. His mind. His mind is like, hey, you know, he's blind. He's got to follow So I think we're able to provide some insights to parents and to players about what's expected of them as Division One players. What are things that draw um, the attention of their players, particularly things like their effort, things like their ability to communicate and lead and do other things other than just scoring. I think many times people believe the more you score, it makes you 
a Division One prospect, and you know, based on many players who average 20 to 25 plus points in the state of Georgia who don't get scholarships, I can confirm that that's not what drives it. There are many, many other things, including you know, academic uh, performance and academic preparation, one's ability to lead, definitely one's ability to defend and play with great energy, uh, to always play at 100 percent, and really show that they're naturally winners. I think the competitive nature of collegiate athletics is really what makes a difference. And I think being a part of a Division One program, in my case, being an assistant coach for, for nearly a decade helps in that regard. The goal is always, the goal is never changed, never wavered. The goal is to win UA Rise.